Now as our game loop is completed, we can go ahead and add some score in our game. So to add user interface in our game, we are going to add a canvas layer node inside of the word scene and let's rename it to user interface. Canvas layer is a node which displays on top of a 3D or 2D world. So anything added as the child of the canvas layer will show on top of everything else inside of the game. So as the child of this user interface, we're going to add a control node which is the base node for making user interfaces in Gato. Now we're going to rename it to game UI and let's also add a label to display text inside our user interface. Let's also rename it to score. Now, if I select the control node or the game UI, you can see a little scare over here. So this is the area of the user interface or the canvas. To set it to full screen, you can either do this manually or you can automatically do this by going into this little icon over here in the toolbar and just simply setting this to full rect so now it will scale with the screen size so no matter how we'll stretch our game window it will always cover the full screen now for the score label we're going to simply type this inside of here now if i run the game there's that score it's a little small so let's make it big so we select it, we go over to theme overrides and font sizes and just simply give it a font size. Let's say 32 pixels. If I run the game, it will display the text but a little bit bigger. We are also going to set this text in the middle of the screen. So we go over to this and then we can just simply set this anchor center top right here. Now let's attach a script to this control node and it's going to be inside the script folder as game ui.gd and let's create here we need the reference of the label so we're just going to drag and drop it while holding control and it will create the already variable for us i'm going to create a variable called score and let's set it equals to zero at initial point we are also going to rename it to score label so that it indicates that it is a label and it's a variable now inside the process function we are going to say score plus equals one so this is going to update the score every frame by one and to display this score variable to our screen we're going to say score label dot text we're going to set it equals to score which is a string and then we're going to use some format specifier so this value here is a integer so we're going to say percentage d which is the format specifier for the integer values and then after this string we're going to say modulus operator and then the variable score what this is going to do is it's going to set the text of this score label equals to the score but before that it's going to add this score string so that if i play the game now the score will increase every frame and there is a score text before the actual score so this is that variable that is being updated every frame and for the field I'm just going to add M after this. So it's going to feel like it's in meters. And now the score system is pretty much done.